Hey, what is up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful time. In this video, I'm going to go over some really great items that you can get by simply questing in New World. Some of these can be obtained before even hitting level 60 and will be still very useful once you do so. If you found this video helpful, consider liking the video and also subscribe to the channel to show your support. Now, let's begin. The first item on the list is going to be the Weaver's Knot. And this is a rare ring that you will get from completing a quest called Refired the Forges. And uh, you will start this storyline in Weaver's Fen, just to the north, right outside the city. And the quest is called Treacherous Wrath. Uh, and you will have to investigate a Echoplasm here, just next to the hut. And this storyline is only three quests and it's very easy to do. A really strong ring that you will have for a very long time. Next, we get the Great Cleave Memory. And this is a rare earring that you will get from completing a quest called The Best of Us. You will start this storyline in Great Cleave at the Eastburn Outpost by talking to James Sexton standing here up on the wall. And here we get the first quest of the storyline called Shadows Caused by Final Salute. And uh, here you need to do six of the quests by this storyline to be able to get this item. It's a really great airing to start with for the early late game. And it works uh, pretty much for any weapon spec as well, which is really, really good. The third item is called Lord Huntingdon's Brooch. And it's a rare amulet. And this you will get by completing a quest called Words of Power. And you will start the storyline in Rakewater by getting a quest called A Expanding Threat from Kinao Unushka. And uh, this storyline contains 7 quests but you only have to do 6 of them to be able to get this amulet. And this area is a bit higher than the previous ones so you might want to team up with a friend for this. And this amulet do give strength bonus so it's more for a specific weapon class. But it's one of the few with luck on it, so it can be still very good to have early on once you get to level 60. And the fourth item is going to be the Gator's Leather Satchel. So this is a tier 4 bag that you can get by just completing a quest called Ebonscale Alligator. And you might guess it, you will find this quest in Ebonscale Reach. And here you want to talk to Barman Hopkins to start this quest. And you don't need to do any other quest before this either. The only requirement is that you are level 49 for the quest to pop up. Uh, really good to get if you don't have too much money or just simply just don't want to spend it on a, an additional bag. And for the last item or items you could say you have different kinds of legendary weapons that you can obtain from different kinds of quests within Brimestone Sands. So, once you hit level 60, you will be able to progress into Bramstone Sands and making the potion, which makes you take no damage from the heat within the zone. And this can be found in Cleave's Point in Great Cleave after you hit level 60. Once you've done it, you can then enter Brimstone and here, from some of the quests, you will now be getting different kinds of legendary weapons. Some of these can be acquired quite fast, like the second or third quest into this zone. So it's very nice to do them as soon as you can and you will get them from both the main storyline and also from side quests, so keep that in mind. Alright, and there we go everyone. Hope these tips was helpful. Comment down below if you got any other tips for some great items from questing in New World. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.